In this tutorial, we are going to be looking into sorting, filtering, and creating filter views. What I have here is a table with the name and surname of customers and their addresses. The first thing to note when sorting or creating filters is that you need to select the whole table you want to sort. If I were to select, for example, only column A, then only column A would be sorted and that would create discrepancy in my data. So I'm going to go ahead and select my whole table and I'm going to point my cursor to data. I'm going to click on it and what I have here are automatic sorting options. So say for example, I want to sort by column A, which has the names and alphabetically A to Z. I will click on it and you see I have an issue here the table has also sorted my header. I did not want the header sorted. So let's undo. And what we can do is come again to data, sort range, and we are going to tick data has header row. So this will consider the first row as a header and we will not sort it. Now I can choose what I want to sort by and it's telling me the, the titles of the columns. So column A is name, column B is surname, column C address, and so on. Let's say I want to sort by surname, so I'm going to click on surname, and I do want it A to Z, so I leave this selected, and now I click sort. Now let's look into filters. There's two ways I can get my filtering. I can come to data, create filter, and this automatically gives me this little sign here, which is a filter. Or, I'm gonna do Control Z, select everything, and I can come to the filter option here, and I click on create a filter. Again, this has created a filter for me. Let's have a look what our filtering options are. I'm gonna filter I'm going to click on the filter symbol on state. And I have a few options here. I can sort A to Z and Z to A like I could before. So this is not really useful in terms of filtering. You can just sort. But what is really interesting on in filtering is, for example, filter by condition. So say, for example, I want to have in this table all my clients but the clients that reside in California. So I do not want clients that are in California. So I can come here and select text does not contain, and I can type in California. I don't even have to type in the whole word. I can type, for example, Cali, just part of the word. Click OK. And you see it has removed the rows that had California on it. And I see that there is a filter applied here in column E because the symbol has become different from the other columns. So I'm going to click on it. Let's say I don't want to remove, I don't want to filter by uh, state anymore. So I'm going to filter by condition again. And I'm going to come back to none. Click OK. And I have my California clients back. Whenever you apply a filter to a spreadsheet, everyone who is collaborating in the same spreadsheet will see the data filtered. So if we were to apply, let's come back to state. And another way of applying filter, I could, for example, manually untick Arizona. So I'm just, you see, I unticked it. I click OK. And Arizona has come out of the list. So if I apply this as a filter, everyone who has access to the spreadsheet will see the same view as I'm seeing now. If you want to apply a filter that is only viewable to yourself, then what we can do is a filter view. So let me bring this back. Just going to tick Arizona back. OK. And let's look into filter views. So the way to get into filter views, again, you can come to data, filter views. And then we can create a new filter view, or you can even save an existing filter as a filter view. Or the second way is again, come back here to turn on filter, but we're going to click on the little arrow to the right and we have the same options here.
Remember, we need to select the range where we want to apply the filter view. So I selected my range, I come to filter views, I click in this little arrow, create new filter view. Now let's say, for example, the filter view I want to create here is again by condition and text contains California. So I'm just going to type in Cali. I'm going to click OK. And these are my clients in California. So that's the filter view that I want. So I can come here up left and I can name the filter view. So I can name it California clients. And this is saved as a filter view. I come here up to the X to leave the view. And I'm back to the spreadsheet. Now I have this view saved. So if at any moment I wanted to see what my California clients are, I come back to filter views, I click on it, and I have the view named here, California client. So all I have to do is click on it and it brings me back to the, to the filter view that I have saved. I have the option of, so here on the little wrench, I have options. I have the option of renaming. I can update wrench, I can duplicate and I can delete. So say I don't need this view anymore, I'm just gonna delete it. And if I come back to future views, California clients is not here anymore.